More victims are coming forward, backing up other reports of a strange man creeping into homes in Corvallis. Good evening, I'm Brian Richardson. And I'm Brandi Smith. Last night we told you about two incidents. Well, now there's Corvallis. Please say a third woman came forward. KZI 9 News reporter Jessica Davis is in Corvallis with our top story at 5. Police say they now have three reports of a man intruding into homes on Northwest Harrison between 22nd and 23rd. They said the man doesn't steal anything. He just moves items around. And in the latest case, he grabbed a woman's foot. OSU student Elise Perry says she got a disturbing text from a friend Wednesday. She was just really scared and that she just basically texted me in the morning and said in all caps, lock your doors. That's because Perry's friend was one of the victims in two break-ins on the 2200 block of Northwest Harrison, north of campus. She told me that a man had broken into her house and was standing in her friend's room and had thrown his her underwear all over the room. and. It was just really scary because I live one block away from her. And it was one block away where a third similar incident happened Wednesday. Officers say this time the woman woke up to a man grabbing her foot. She spoke to him and he ran off. Her roommate wasn't home, but reported clothing in her bedroom had been moved. It's frightening just because, I mean, Corvallis is such a small town and I feel like I feel safe here. And when you hear something like that happening, you're all of a sudden second guessing your every move. We think that it's really important that people aren't scared. We don't want our community to live in fear, but we think it's important everybody stays extremely vigilant right now. Which means be aware of your surroundings, lock your doors, and use the buddy system. In all the cases, the suspect is described as white, six foot, thin build, wearing a dark colored hood and sweatshirt. The suspect hasn't physically hurt anyone or stolen anything. But women in the area say his peculiar M.O. is still extremely concerning. Nothing was stolen at all, which is, makes it even more scary because obviously like, he wasn't there to like take anything. He was there for some other reason, which we don't know. And if you have any information or are a victim in a similar case, you are asked to call Corvallis Police. In Corvallis, Jessica Debus, KEZI 9 News.